Today's showdown, home runs and wins for 1990 tops. Hello everyone, Kurt the Good Times Card Collector here and we're back for another episode of Showdown. Today our showdown is going to be with home runs and wins. So home runs for batters, wins for pitchers. Right now the only have one episode so far, but it's 36%, which is not good. Uh, I should just be able to be at least 50% um, if I were just to guess each time. So I'm hoping for over 50%, but we will see how it goes. And uh, let's see how we can do. We're doing home runs and wins. Good. Fortunately, the gum card that's completely stuck to is a manager card, Jeff Tolberg. Torborg. So, uh, and this card is just jacked. So I'm just going to toss that one, but we can get started here. We're going to start with our batters. And let's see who we have up first. Up first, we have Darren Dalton. Get a little lower here. There we go. That looks better. Darren Dalton versus Raphael Belliard. Which player has more home runs? Now, one thing I forgot to really keep in consideration during the first episode is this. You have to remember it's 1990, so 1990 career stats. So, so far in their career as of 19, basically 1989 season, who has more home runs? I'm going to go with Darren Dalton. And how many home runs does Darren Dalton have? He has 24 career home runs. Raphael Belliard, one career home run. All right, so winner on the first one, Darren Dalton will stay. Face a new challenger here. So one correct so far, doing good. Now Darren Dalton's 24 career home runs up against 1990 Craig Reynolds. Who has more career home runs? 24 by Dalton or Craig Reynolds? Ah, uh, I'm going to go with Craig Reynolds. I think Craig Reynolds has more than 24 career home runs. I'm going Craig Reynolds. Let's get rid of Dalton. Craig Reynolds has 42. All right, but see how long he's played. So I knew he had played a few years. So two for two so far. And Craig Reynolds there. Craig Reynolds now will face. Uh oh, don't fall down cards. Oh, God. Rick Cerrone, Craig Reynolds, career, 42 home runs versus Rick Cerrone. I'm going to go with, I'm going with Rick Cerrone. I think Rick Cerrone is an older player and playing for a while. I think he's going to have more than 42 home runs. He looks like more of a power guy to me. I don't really know, but I think he's going to have more. So I'm going Rick Cerrone. So Craig Reynolds, 42. And Rick Cerrone has 54. Three for three. Wow, this could not be going better so far. Maybe because it's home runs, though. I think home runs is going to be a little easier. I'm going to switch around the stats, because uh, but home runs, I think, is a little easier also to guess, too. I mean, I got lucky, but... Now, Rick Cerrone's 54 career home runs is up against Luis Rivera. Red Sox on Red Sox. Who has more career home runs in 1990? I'm going to stick with Rick Cerrone. I'm going to say his 54 home runs are going to be enough. Rivera has nine. All right, so I think four for four, five for five. I don't know. I want all the batters. All right, let's see if I can keep my luck up against the pitchers now. We're looking at career wins. Our first matchup is Luis Aquino. Take a mulligan on that one. So it's Luis Aquino versus Bill Landrum. Who has more wins? I'm going Aquino. Guessing Aquino. Aquino has eight career wins. Eight major league wins. And Bill Landrum has six. So Aquino wins. All right. Keeping the streak going here. So Luis Aquino's eight career wins against Mike Rosler. 
Eight wins against Rosler. Rosler looks young. I don't think Rosler's played very much. I'm going to stick with Aquino. I'm going to stick with Aquino's eight. I think eight wins is going to be enough. I don't think Rosler's going to have more than eight wins. So Aquino has eight. And let's see what Royster has. He has zero. So I made a good call on that one. I think I'm perfect so far. So he's going to stay up there. This is going to be an easy one now. I don't get anything about the win. So Royster has zero wins. So Tim Leary. Now if it's a tie, it's going to go to Royster. So if Tim Leary has not gotten a win, it's going to be Royster. But if Tim Leary has one win or more career in the MLB in 1990, he will win. I'm going to go with Leary. I think he's got to at least have one win. One win. So Royzer has zero. And I'm betting on Leary having at least one win. He has 45 wins. All right. So he will stay up there with his 45 wins, Tim Leary. And he's going up against, let me make sure it's a pitcher. Okay, good. Kevin... Wickander. Kevin Wickander against Tim Leary's 45 wins. I'm sticking Tim Leary. I don't think Wicklander has 45 wins in him. With that gaze and off look there, that's not a 45 game winner, I don't think. So 45 for Tim Leary, and let's see if what Wickander has. He has zero wins. No major league victories. So I am, I think I'm perfect so far. It's like a Christmas miracle today. I'm liking this uh, wins and home runs category. All right, now we have Kevin Wickmanders, zero wins against Dennis Cook. Does Dennis Cook have one win? I am going with Dennis Cook. I'm going to keep the streak alive. Let's keep it going. 100%. Perfect round. Let's see. Wicklander has zero wins. Dennis Cook, more than one win. Oh, nine. Oh, it was a little closer than I was hoping there, but nine wins for Dennis Cook. And we have, well, we have two more cards left. As long as they're, they're actually pitchers. Okay, good. So Dennis Cook's nine wins up against Mark Portugal. I'm trying to think. I want to keep it going here. Been perfect so far. Mark Portugal, how long has he been pitching? Nine wins. I'm going, ah, he looks so young though. This could, I don't know if this is rookie card or his first year. It could be. Because Mark Portugal pitched pretty late. He's got to have more than nine wins though. I'm going Mark Portugal has more than nine wins. That's where I'm going with this one. So, Dennis Cook, nine wins. Mark Portugal, come on, more than nine. 18, doubles him up. All right, have a chance to be perfect. One more, and I'm going to be flying high here. Especially after what really happened last week. We have Mark Portugal's 18 wins against Kurt Young with the Athletics. Now, this is an easy one for me. I think I've got this just, how many wins? 18 wins? Yeah, I think Kurt Young, I got Kurt Young on this one. Kurt Young's definitely got more than 18 wins in 1990. Because I know I had the 87 uh, tops, Kurt Young. So I know he's been playing at least two or three years. And the A's were good. So he's got to have at least 10 wins a year. So he, I'm, I'm guessing he has like 30 wins, Kurt Young. At least 30 wins. So March Portugal, 18 wins. Kurt Young, more than 18. All right, 51. Well, that concludes our showdown today. Um, 100%. So I got them all right based on guessing home runs and wins. So um, I now know that um, home runs and wins are a, a nice one for me to guess. But we will change up the categories for the next showdown. So um, thank you for watching and have a good one.